Welcome to the iconic Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City, Missouri, as we are now six weeks into the NFL season, and we've got America's Game of the Week here for you between one of the NFC's best and one of the AFC's best. A week ago, the Vipers hosted the Denver Broncos and just escaped 31-28, and now we take on another AFC West opponent, and like I said, it is one of the most anticipated matchups of this week. They are led by rookie quarterback Dwayne Carter who they got on day two of the draft and not too bad for a rookie quarterback so far he's led them to a 5-1 and one record Michael Brown over 400 yards and two touchdowns for him one of the best running backs in the league they got Glover Walton and Littman there as their top receiving options not too shabby there looking at their defense four guys there with two sacks each and then they also have two guys each with two interceptions looking at the numbers on paper we have a pretty high flying offense while their defense is looking just a be okay so even though we are at arrowhead it looks like we might be favored on paper a little bit here's a run by Michael Brown. He takes it for two yards they're going to give it to him again on second down working his way up the middle he's going to fall forward near the first down marker third down in inches carter five wide fires that one to the left side and there he connects with his man david walton that's going to convert the third down Brown in the backfield, and they're going to give it to him. He has a lot of space as he goes right up the gut there. Brought down violently by the safety Lamar James, but not until he gets into Vipers territory. Now another run to the left side. Gets across the 30, and he is tearing up our defense early on. They're going to give it to him again, once again to the left side, and he's getting about 10 yards a carry right now. He's looking unstoppable on this opening drive. Toss play to the left. Michael Brown spinning around inside of the red zone, down inside of the 15. Sending the tight end in motion, but it's going to be another run. We know it's coming, and yet we are still having a tough time stopping it as he picks up seven. Michael Brown with another carry, tripped up down at the goal line. Goal to go from the two. Now they're looking to throw for it. Carter has his pass knocked away at the line. Knocking now at the doorstep, two yards out, and that's going to be a Kansas City Chiefs touchdown. Rookie to rookie there from Dwayne Carter to Dontario Glover. Here's a play fake now for Orlando Cross and this Vipers offense. And they get the football here as they get it out to two of Charles Phillips for a pickup of seven yards. Early on, though, we're going to be faced with third down and the pressure is going to force the incomplete pass. So we're going to have to go three and out now after giving up that early Chiefs touchdown. Already looking to extend their lead. Now it's Glover who had the touchdown reception there. That's only going to pick up one yard. Back to the ground game they go. Brown bouncing off of defenders there. That's going to set up third down and short. They're going to throw for it here. Carter's under some pressure. Nearly sacked. That does force the incompletion though. And now Kansas City's got to punt the football away. Their defense sends the heat here. And that's enough to force the incomplete pass. Once again, they send the blitz. And this time it gets home. Crosses sack. That's going to set up third down and 17. No running back in the backfield. Cross fires downfield for Phillips. He's going to be just shy of the stick. Still fourth and two from the 42. And it looks like the offense is going to stay on the field. Will they go for it? No, as Cross tries to get them to jump off sides. They stay set, and we are once again punting them the football. Here's Dwayne Carter firing that one to the left side, and he's got Michael Brown getting involved in the receiving game. Now the running back with that reception gets them down to the 44-yard line and takes us into the second quarter of play where he has a run that gets him out to midfield. Second down and four from the 50. Carter's under some pressure, and he goes down. It's the star defensive tackle, Canton-bound Daryl Fannin. That's going to give them third down and 10. A quick throw to the left side is going to be caught by David Walton. They're going to convert on third down yet again. Here's Michael Brown with a run right up the gut as he shakes his way through some tackles into some open space and wrestled down inside of the 20. What a run by the former top draft pick. He's going to get a little bit of a breather now as Tyrone Hubbard gets the carry and he's not going very far. Third down and nine looking for the end zone and it's going to be broken up on that left side by Maurice Sanders and the Chiefs are going to take a 10 point lead. That run up the middle not going anywhere. Albuquerque's offense has been very slow so far today. Firing that one over the middle but it's going to be broken up looking for Larry Fitzgerald and yet again this offense goes three and out. Kansas City with the football again. Michael Brown on a run to the left side. Held to just two yards there. Play fake on third down and Daryl Fannin is coming right up the gut there to force the incomplete pass and very quickly get the football back into the hands of Orlando Cross. He fires that one over the middle, but it's going to be another pass broken up. This Chiefs defense not making things easy on the five-time MVP. 
That pass downfield is going to be a little bit off the mark and knocked away, leading to another Vipers third down. Looking to throw for it again. Cross is going to be flushed to his right. He's going to try to test that right sideline there with the fullback, Ron White. He was well covered on the play, as was pretty much everyone there. And once again, Kansas City's getting the ball back. Carter's going to dump this one off over the middle. David Walton's going to cut it back, and that's going to pick up another Chiefs first down. Two and a half minutes left to go in the half. Now Carter's going to fire that one downfield. What a catch by David Walton with the toe drag swag, getting them into Albuquerque territory. Moving around in the pocket now, and he's got his tight end, JT Littman. That's going to pick up about five or six yards there as we hit the two-minute warning. Michael Brown with a big run here, gashing our defense yet again inside of the 30. Michael Brown with yet another carry, getting away from first contact, and he gets down to the 25, picking up three yards on the play. Michael Brown with yet another run, and we were having such a tough time tackling him. It feels like he's breaking at least one or two tackles on every play. They give it to him on third down. Or actually, no, that's Tyrone Hubbard in the backfield. Nonetheless, they pick up the first down. Carter firing this one to the end zone now, and it's going to be caught. He finds his tight end, JT Littman, in the end zone for six. And just like that, we are now down by three scores. Cross airing this one now downfield for Jimmy Andrews, but he's unable to stay in bounds. Second down with the 49 seconds left to go in the half. Cross under a little bit of pressure. He's going to dump this one off to a wide open Charles Phillips. He's unable to get out of bounds, so we're going to have to use a timeout here. We're down to just one remaining. 42 seconds left to go. Now Cross looking to put together this two-minute drill. Over the middle, he's got Fitzgerald inside of Chiefs territory, but we've got to hurry things up on offense. 25 seconds left to go. Orlando Cross taking a shot downfield for Vaughn Lewis, and the tight end gets us inside of the 15. 10 seconds left to go. Looking for the end zone shot. Here, Cross fires that one over the middle. He's got Lewis again down at the goal line. We're going to be forced to call our last timeout, though. Five seconds left to go. Looking to get into the end zone. And they say Trey Francis got both feet in. Touchdown, Vipers. That puts us down by 10 at halftime. We also get the football to start off the second half of play. So if there was ever a time to come back from being down 17, it would be right now. We have a pretty good setup for it. Here's Elvis Watts to the right side. He's not going anywhere, and our ground game has been very ineffective today. We have yet to convert on third down until now. Charles Phillips with some tight coverage downfield, but Cross still able to get it to him. Here's Ryan Franks on a carry up the middle. He's had a great 2018 season, but he's not having a good day here. As Cross's pass here falls incomplete as Kansas City sends the heat on third down. They get the football back yet again after forcing another Vipers punt. Some power running there up the middle and Darren Gordon a little bit shaken up after former Vipers fullback Walt Morrison ran him over. Here's Michael Brown on the carry on third down. He tried his hardest to get there, but he's marked a yard shy. We're going to be getting the football back, but on defense, we are going to be hurting a little bit. Darren Gordon out for the rest of the game. Beautiful blocking downfield here for Ryan Franks, and just like that, he gets us in the Chiefs territory. It's about time our ground game got going. Switch it out now. It's Elvis Watts in the backfield. He takes that one for a pickup of seven. Kansas City playing very aggressive now. They send some more heat, but Cross with a spectacular play, evading the pressure and finding Jimmy Andrews downfield. He takes us down to the 11. Play fake. Cross firing that one over the middle. Touchdown, Vaughn Lewis. And just like that, we've pulled within three. Here's Michael Brown on a run up the middle, making our defense look silly as he pulls off some nice juke moves there, and that's going to pick up the first down. Play fake, and wide open downfield, Dwayne Carter has David Walton, and he is in for six. It doesn't get any easier than that. Why on earth did Maurice Sanders bite on the play fake that hard? I don't know. He did not have a reason to do so, and Kansas City once again has a two-possession lead. Here's a toss to the left for Ryan Franks, getting away from the first guy and wrestled down after picking up three yards. I formation here. It's a run by Franks. He's going to take this one to the right side, wrestled down after he moves the sticks. Nearing the end of the third quarter already, the offense has got to do a little bit more waking up here, and that doesn't help as that pass falls incomplete with a lot of pressure on Orlando Cross. Third down. Cross has a little bit of time now, and you just got to give him some time like that. He can find guys like Charles Phillips downfield as that takes us to the fourth quarter of play. Nice run up the middle there by Watts. It's going to pick up five yards. We're going to give it to Ryan Franks. Now he's going to bounce this one to the outside. First down yardage and more across the 30, down just shy of the red zone. 
Here's a handoff to Franks. Nope, it's actually going to be a play fake. Faked me out there. Cross rolling to his right is going to be intercepted by Henson. Threw it right to him. He thought he could fit it around the defender there and find Fitzgerald behind him. But no, baited into that throw. And Kansas City is flying high now. JT Littman downfield is going to be forced out of bounds. Luckily, we were able to do that. Otherwise, he might have been gone for six. And now this is something Chiefs fans do not want to see. Dwayne Carter shaken up on the play. And the rookie quarterback is going to have to check out. Michael Brown with a run up the middle there as Dwayne Wyatt is the quarterback in the game. We've played him before. He used to play for the Cardinals, and he has started games for the Chiefs in the past, so he's not totally inexperienced, but he's definitely backup material. He's going to fire that one downfield. JT Littman's got it down at the 10, and Tyrone Hubbard a little shaken up on that play now, and that's going to be another player out for Kansas City on offense. Here's Michael Brown with the run right up the gut, and that's going to pick up eight yards. As we get an update on Dwayne Carter, he will return to the field shortly. Brown with a carry, and did he pick up the first down there? No, not quite. Carter is back into the game, though, to hand it off to Tyrone Hubbard, who's also back in the game, and punches that one in for six. Kansas City up by 17 yet again. It's like our comeback never even happened. So at one point, we did pull within three, but now with under five minutes left to go, we've got to score three times. Fitzgerald downfield with a nice reception, but we're going to need much more than that. Orlando Cross has a clean pocket. Fires that one downfield over the middle. Burt Myers, the rookie, down into Chiefs territory across the 35. Orlando Cross moving around in the pocket, and he's going to run out of time. That time he did have enough, but ultimately he just never pulled the trigger and took a huge nine-yard loss. No running back in the backfield. Now off his back foot, Cross throws, and it's going to be inaccurate. Second down and long. Cross is under pressure, loses the football. It's on the ground, recovered by Albuquerque, but it's going to be fourth and 31, and obviously we've got to go for it. Any chance we have rests on this play here. Cross looking for Andrews downfield. He's got to step on his man, but he can't bring in the football, and that is going to be all she wrote for this one. There's no way we're going to be able to come back, especially if our defense is going to be unable to stop the run. Rosco White, the linebacker on the play, a little bit shaken up himself now as it's just been a tough game for these Vipers. Luckily, it's nothing too serious for our middle linebacker, but he will be missing the remainder of today's game. Third down and 12. Here they're going to hand it off to Brown, and he's going to fight his way for a first down. And man, our run defense really struggled today. Michael Brown showing everyone why he's one of the best in the league as Kansas City has a pretty convincing victory here. 31-14, to and that's not the type of a performance you like to see out of your back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions, your five-time MVP quarterback, Kansas City just had us on our heels offensively all day it felt like. Orlando Cross only completed 50% of his passes and the ground game never really got going. The averages aren't too bad but it was just a lot of like kind of bigger plays and then a lot of plays for just no yards, one yard, two yards, something like that. Receiving wasn't terrible. It was actually pretty spread out between all of our guys and I'm not super upset with what happened there outside of the drop by Jimmy Andrews but at that point even if he had caught it it probably would have been too late. Looking at some other games this week we had a huge game here in the AFC North, which is looking like one of the most competitive divisions in the NFL. And after a late pick six, the Ravens hand Cleveland their first loss of the season, 23 to 19. Both these teams with just one loss. Our opponents next week are going to be the Detroit Lions, and they fall to the San Francisco 49ers, who are currently on top of our division, the NFC West, as the Niners win this one, 27 to 24. And this could be a playoff rematch if both these teams continue to play as they are now. The Colts continue to struggle as the Steelers are now 4-2. Like I said, the AFC North looking uber competitive this season. And the Colts obviously now falling to 2-3. And, and it just feels like there's something wrong with this team. Aaron Rodgers is still great, but there's just something off with the Colts. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like is always appreciated. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey.